Hello YouTubers, beer geeks, and beer hounds alike. Bill here. We're going to do a beer review. Cool. All right. Let's get into this. So we have one here from Three Weavers. Okay. And it's called Citra Puffs. It's a juicy pale ale coming in at 5.2%. And uh, this is recommended to me by my buddy Casey at Total Wine and More. And um, I trust his judgment because he's a cool dude and um, he knows his beers. Thank you, Casey. You're the man. And uh, let's see. I got this as a single for like three bucks. Uh, let's see here. It says uh, two row wheat, flaked wheat, rolled oats. The yeast is A38. The hops is Citra with Mosaic and Comet. Comet. It says it's easy drinking, juicy, and hazy with a soft mouthfeel. Notes of citrus peel, stone fruit, and pineapple. We shall see. Um, let's see what else is on here. I do like uh, Three Weavers. They make really good beers for sure. They're from, let me see if I can remember, Inglewood. Let's see. Inglewood, yes, I remember. Nice. Um, canned on 214.23, so it's super fresh. Yeah, it's like oh, barely over, it's almost like two weeks old, so it's super fresh. Never seen this before, never heard of it before, first time. Let's handle it. Sit your puffs. Damn. That one's tight. Good old guitar pick there. Ooh, just ding the can. There we go. Ooh, I smell it. Mmm, that smells good. I just got whapped in the face with a really good uh, hop aroma there. Wow. Definitely looks different coming out. Pretty hazy. Huh. Wow. All right, Casey. Recommending this one. Wow. I could tell this is going to be good. And it's only like 5.2%. Wow, that's light. And um, I mean, the aroma is coming off this thing. I can smell it from here. It's crazy smelling. Crazy. All right. Um, let's see what we got here. We got a tight head. Huge, frothy, creamy, silky head. Very tight looking. No big bubbles or nothing popping open in the middle there. Very hazy too. Wow. Sometimes um, those lighter ABV beers can surprise you. You know what I mean? Super bright flashlight. Alrighty, I had to hit the sneeze button there. Uh, it's a close call. Alright, well, let's uh, check out the aroma here. Mmm. Getting some kind of piney kind of notes with some kind of a sweetness coming through also. Mm, different. <sighs> really nice pine notes. But there's also almost like a cotton candy note coming through. Yeah, almost like a candiness coming through there with a little bit of pine. It smells really good and maybe some floralness. Yeah, smells really nice. Let's get a hit. Cheers. Wow. That's pretty darn good for a lighter beer. Lighter ABV beer. Mmm. Wow, look at that. That's good looking. 
Good looking beer. Come on, here we go. Yeah. Good looking. Oh, there we go. Take another hit. Mm. I'm getting like a caramel note too. Caramel malt or something. It's a very tasty beer for a lighter beer. There's a lot going on. Some citrusy kind of notes coming through. Pretty good. Citra puffs. Hmm. Interesting. They have it in like a bowl. Like a bowl of cereal kind of. Three weavers. All the literature's in the back there. Okay. Tasty beer so far. Almost like cereal, yeah. Almost like some kind of cereal. What a trip. Really tasty. Really nice lacing on the glass there. Let's bump it up for a second here. You can really see it there. Right there. Look at the lacing. Really good. Not bad for a lighter beer though. I'll tell you that right now. It's pretty banging. You could session with these pretty good. 5.2%. It actually has a medium mouthfeel. Really smooth like they said. Really smooth drink. Goes down nice. Look at that lacing though. Wow, that's incredible for a lighter beer. Wow. I gotta admit, this is one of the best 5% beers I've ever had. This has a lot of flavor for 5%er. I mean, that's not much more than your macro Bud Miller Coors beer. And this thing just smokes those things. I like this. This smokes a lot of IPAs that are. You know seven and a half and higher actually this hits like a, a regular ipa that's a seven percent or higher i am very impressed with this thank you casey for recommending this one this is very impressive damn it keeps getting better as i go so super good I'll, i'm gonna sip on it for a little bit and i'll be right back very impressed so far all righty i'm back I'm getting a little grapefruit or something in there. Maybe a little, maybe pineapple slightly. It's a really, really tasty, juicy IPA we have here. Or a pale ale. But um, that's pretty much what I got in this puppy. There's no booziness, of course. Nothing like weird like that. Uh, I think it's a very tasty, sessionable IP, uh, pale ale. Ribbit. Um, excellent beer for a beginner that's just getting into craft beer. So on a scale of one to five star, two and a half B and C average, I'm gonna give Three Weavers uh, Citra Puff four and a half stars out of five. I think it's damn tasty. Very good session beer also. So uh, four and a half stars it is. That's my story, I'll stick with that. You know the deal, hit the big three. I do appreciate y'all stopping by. I'm trying to get to that 1,000. We'll get there one of these days. And uh, have a great day, morning, evening, wherever you're at, and we'll catch you later. Cheers.